is going to be a video about evaluating functions and using your calculator to figure out the answer for them. Now, this is a great thing to do to kind of check your work on uh, what you're doing when you're evaluating functions. So we have this function right here, f of x equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. So what we want to do, in this case, it's saying, what's f of 1? Okay, so what you're going to want to do is hit y equals on your calculator and then type in the function. So x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, and then from there, you're just going to want to hit graph and it's gonna graph the problem as so. And then to figure out what f of one is, we wanna input one into this graph right here. So you're gonna to wanna to hit trace, and then it's gonna bring up this screen right here, and then you're just gonna hit one, and this is x equals one right here, and then you just press enter, and it's gonna spit out what the y equals. So in this case, the y is equal to eight. And this makes sense, because one squared is one, plus four times one is five, so four plus one is five, plus three is eight. And it works with any number. So say I wanted to do eight, it would spit out what eight is. Now if you notice, if you put a value in like say 15 and you hit enter, it's gonna say invalid. The reason why is because 15 is off of the graphing screen, because it only goes up to about 10. So what you're gonna wanna do, if you wanna try 15, you're gonna wanna hit zoom here, and then we're gonna zoom out, so then it's gonna bring you to this screen and just hit enter again and it's gonna zoom out a little bit. And then you can try to, you know, see what happens if you put x equals 15. If you put that in there and then it actually does have enough room to figure it out. So when in doubt, if it's not uh, fitting in the window, you can always just zoom out and then try that value. Now this works for any value. So say I wanted to find f of zero. Okay. In this case, f of zero would be the y-intercept. So this actually is a great way of figuring out the y-intercept as well. So all you would have to do is hit zero in for x, and then it spits out the y-intercept of three. Okay, so then you know your, your y-intercept would be zero, three. Um, so that's evaluating functions using the uh, TI-83 here. If you have any questions about this, let me know.